This entire environment was created with BCG. Using some advanced techniques where we create many level assemblies like these and spawn them using a BCG graph. In this first part, we'll see how to make these many level assemblies. And in the next video, I will explain the BCG part. So make sure that you are subscribed to watch the next video. All right, first up, I'm going to make a base for my many levels. And I've made a copy of this rock from the mega scan. And I'm going to adjust the scale of this rock. And then I'm going to bake the transformation. And I'm going to make a material instance from my landscape material. And I'm going to assign this material instance to the rock. This way, the rock blends in perfectly with the landscape. Next, I added some trees and vines, and I placed a tree in the middle. You need to either remember the name of this tree or just copy its name. Then select all the meshes, right click on them, choose level, create level instance, and when it asks you to select the pivot point, choose actor, a type or paste, the name of the object in the middle. This is important to make sure that all the pivot points of the many levels are in the middle and on the same vertical level. And this ensures that when you spawn them, they will be on the same level. Now you have a level instance that you can move as a single unit. And if you right click on it, you can select edit and continue assembling your mini level. I just want to mention that there is no need to use different meshes. Nanite performs better if you use the same mesh and keep duplicating it.
If you're creating small objects like this fallen tree, which are made up of multiple meshes, you'd want to combine them into an actor so you can place them as a single unit. Here is how to do it. Copy the name of the main mesh or its pivot point you want to keep as the pivot point of the actor. Select all the meshes, right click on them and search for create. Choose create back level actor. When prompted to select the pivot point, choose actor and paste the name of the main mesh. Click OK, give it a name, press save and then press save again. Additionally, I created these other two levels. These cliffs were made using just one mesh, duplicated multiple times. Using a single mesh significantly improves performance compared to using different ones. Plus, since it's the same mesh, they blend together perfectly and you can't even tell they are duplicates. And that's it for this part of the tutorial. We've covered how to create many level assemblies. In the next video, I'll cover the BCG part, so make sure that you're subscribed to stay updated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.